Top story tonight at 530. School might be out for the summer, but districts all over the Carolinas are very hard at work, making sure that your children stay safe just in case there is ever an active shooter situation. Governor Henry McMaster just signed a law requiring every school in South Carolina to have an active shooter plan in place by 2021. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is in Fort Mill tonight explaining that new law's requirements. Three years. That's how long every school in South Carolina from the high schools like this one here in Fort Mill to the smallest, the elementary schools. That's how long they're going to have to come up with school safety plans for every worst case scenario, fire, natural disaster, and of course, active shooters. Please hurry. If an active shooter comes to your child's school soon in South Carolina, there'll be a plan in place. So it's nice to see everybody working together to increase the safety of our students on our campuses. Here in Fort Mill, they've been preparing for the worst case scenario for a while. We did have some security measures that went in place at the end of last school year. We added some more safety officers. We looked at some more uh, physical security systems going in. Now, a new law just signed by Governor Henry McMaster will require every school to have a plan by 2021. We want our parents to understand this is a top priority for us and we are here to make sure that their children are safe when they are at our schools. The bill will require schools to practice their plans every semester. Some districts like Lancaster already doing drills. You got to be prepared to handle it by yourself. In Rock Hill they've added cameras, locked doors and even emergency kits. Makes it very easy for them to grab this bag. But ever since the shooting at Parkland High School, even Fort Mill questioned if they were doing enough. This week, interviewing candidates for a new security and emergency services coordinator. So they're going to be assessing security issues at schools, at the district offices, protocols across the district, any number of things that could help us to increase the safety at our schools and look at the systems we have in place to do that. Vowing that the only thing more important than a good school is a safe one. Something else built into the budget, a $2 million pilot program that would pay for school resource officers for some of the poorest districts in the state. This would mark the first time that South Carolina has ever paid for school resource officers. Reporting in Fort Mill, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. We sure hope nothing like this ever happens, but always good to have a plan in place. Tanya, thanks.